So hello, my name is Rob and this is Cattle Rabbit Scale Model Studios. And in this video, I thought I would talk about my Dark Angels. I've been doing them nearly solidly for over a month now. And before I'm absolutely anything, I'm a hobbyist. So of course I want to do my own projects. I've really fallen in love with Dark Angels and the response from the community about my Dark Angels has been really fantastic. So I thought I'd show them off. This was the first one I painted. Um, this is my intercessor sergeant. I had a box of intercessors just laying around. I actually started this on the 15th of March because uh, I actually went back and checked. And before I carry on and I forget, you can find loads of pictures of my work over on Instagram, which I'll leave a link below. And I will link any of the painting guides for the color schemes that you see in this video. So think of it of a, as a sort of contents, if you will. But this was the first one I painted. It was more of a test model. And I really instantly fell in love with the scheme. Obviously, normally doing Imperial Fists, a lot of yellow. It was nice to do something completely different. One thing I really wanted to achieve with these guys is not having to spend absolutely ages on each model. Often I find myself falling into the trap of trying to push every model as far as I can. While that's good to have a standard like that, it takes ages to get things done. And seeing a unit completed is a really good way of motivating you. Um, so I came up with a scheme that was really easy to do. It was a lot of dry brushing. I could bang these out in an evening, one after each other. And that's exactly what I've been doing. Really, really enjoying these, how they look. Uh, I am missing a few little bits of heraldry and uh, little bits. I, I wanted to try and make everyone really different. Use those upgrade sprues. I tend to buy them, I put them to one size and I, I end up not using them. I didn't want to do that for this. But that's my squad of five intercessors. Then uh, my friend kindly gave me a big bit of bits, <laughs> if you will. Um, and there was a little watcher in there. So I just thought it was really cute. So I painted him up. And then one of the reasons why I wanted to do Dark Angels was for this. I found a piece of artwork online. Um, and I just absolutely fell in love with that kind of dark green vanguard looking armor um i will link in the top right hand corner now the video i did a live converting this guy it was a hell of a lot of fun uh, i talk you through loads of things the shield and the bits are from the deathwing knight kits i believe you have to bear with us because this stuff was given to me so i'm not overly familiar where all the all the bits were but i know they're all kind of dark angel stuff regardless but i just wanted you know a real cool looking blade master captain guy and then we move on to this guy. Now, this is actually the reason why I started Dark Angels is I was at work one day and I always have YouTube on in the background and I was trudging, I was trying to find something on the old Warhammer uh, TV YouTube channel. And I came across one from about four years ago of uh, Duncan Rhodes putting together and converting this intercessor captain. And I thought, Do you know what? That looks so cool. So I took the Halberd from the uh, Deathwing Knights kit again. I, I pinned it to make it longer. I swapped out him his gun for a Volkite pistol, the head swap. And do you know what? It's the the big hat. I got to stop calling them hats, the helmets. The big helmets I really fell in love with. Um, and this was one. This was one of the I think the second or third miniatures I, I painted. Um, just really, really good seeing it on the tabletop. Um, a chaplain. I've always wanted a chaplain. I've wanted to buy this chaplain model for like five years since I've been doing a hobby and I finally had a good excuse to do it. What better than the Dark Angels? Um, I love painting cloth and I actually painted this guy up on a Saturday. Uh, I literally just slapped a movie on and I just went up the, the lever and it, the lever's actually only three colours. Um, I don't have a tutorial for that. I'll try and get one out soon. Um, but it is really easy to do. It's just a lot of back and forth and a bit time consuming, but it, it's incredibly forgiving. Uh, but I had an absolute joy painting that guy up. Then we have the Lieutenant. Obviously I did a video on this guy, which I'll link. Uh, I love this kit. I really, really love this kit. I love these multi-part individual HQ kits that Games Workshop's starting to do, like for the captains and lieutenants and things like that with all the options. And I just, you know, I was looking at some old miniatures. All the old miniatures from the 90s, they had banners. So this guy, once again, I had a banner in the pot of bits that my pal gave me. He, he was getting the banner regardless. Um, and I just, once again, I think he was painted up over a weekend. 
absolutely really enjoyed doing this guy. I painted him slightly different because I did spend a bit more time. I added some glazing to make some transitions a bit smoother. But for a HQ, I think it was definitely worth it. Then uh, Assault Intercessor Sergeant. Now you might notice he's got a, uh, a Deathwing shoulder pad. I'll talk about that. Um, I saw the free miniature of the month when GW were giving away the Assault Intercessors and I kindly asked um, the manager of my store uh, could, could I, you know, and he, he really kindly clipped out the bits for me. So I got the, the, the loadout I wanted. And then I thought, you know, it'd be really, really cool. Because originally I painted him just as a pure Dark Angel. I thought, well, I've got some odd Assault Intercessors knocking about. I'd really like to do them as Deathwing. I think like the colours would look really, really cool. Once again, I'll link the colour scheme. It's almost like an exact inverted colour scheme of the Dark Angels. Like the Aquilas are done the same as the armor, and their armor's done the same as their Aquilas. So they, they contrast really well together. And I just fell in love with the scheme. So I started to make a little narrative in my head, which is something I very rarely do. That the the sergeant who's got the honorary shoulder pad um, is actually been placed in the Assault Intercessor Squad. The original sergeant is now in this. Now this is what I imagine joint custody looks like in Warhammer 40,000. Obviously, this is a Brutalist Dreadnought, and I wanted to kind of tie the two colour schemes together. So I thought, a nice big centrepiece model with the Deathwing and the Dark Angels. Don't get me started on Raven Guard. I haven't gone down that road yet. We're just going to play it safe with this for the minute. Um, but I really love how this turned out. The quartered effect was really easy to do. A bit of patience and some masking tape, and I did the majority of rattle can sprays. The armors were completed the same way as the other armor recipes. Uh, obviously the base, um, I should probably talk about that. The reason why I went for a light base originally is because it contrasted really well with the, the dark green armor, but I think it works quite well with the bone as well, you know, without washing it out too much. Personally, that's what I think, but who knows. But, you know, he's not glued together. There are still some bits. I wanted to load him up with lots of purity seals and things. Um, I just haven't got around to doing it because I am waiting on some bits to arrive. Um, but that's really all of it. So next I've got obviously this guy, needs no introduction. I have the lion, all the head options are magnetized now. Once again, I've done a video for that, I'll link it. Um, I'll also link the desert bases. I have this, a Primaris Ancient. Once again, big on banners. Like I like the look of banners and things like that in my forces. And I really wanted to make this quite a I guess unique force by having lots of you know banners and, and heraldry and use of bits i have the uh blade guard from the lion's guard i'm i was going to do them dark angels originally but now i think i'm going to do deathwing just to even out that spread of color as i am you know i have more dark green than i do bone i also have five assault intercessors from the bastion strike force uh, that i will probably add into these guys and I'll probably add some infiltrators because I really, really like them. I'd like to do the infiltrators with a darker armor, much like my chaplain's dark power armor. And obviously, I'm going to be working on the lion this weekend. Uh, it's a three day weekend here in the UK, so I'm going to have plenty of time to do it. So, aside from two other assault intercessors, which are just in front of me right now, but I still need to paint, um, that's everything I've done in about <sighs> nearly 45 days. Um, I've had a few breaks in between. I've done some things. It's been a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, consider this a little video diary. There'll be another update soon, but that's it from me in this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed. God bless and take care.